Authorities are still trying to learn more information about that fiery plane crash in Brazil that killed 62 people on board, leaving no survivors. The plane was seen spiraling in the sky, unable to gain control before a crash into a neighborhood. Fox's Christina Coleman has more on what we know. The plane's black box flight recorder, which stores the plane's data, was recovered at the crash site. It will be included in the investigation into what caused the aircraft to rapidly plunge to the ground in southern Brazil, killing everyone on board. The plane's regional carrier confirmed there was an additional passenger on the flight, increasing the death toll in this horrific incident from 61 fatalities to 62. Disturbing video shows the plane moments before its fiery crash. The plane slammed into a residential community about 50 miles northwest of Sao Paulo Friday. Fortunately, no one on the ground got hurt. A number of terrified witnesses saw or heard the plane crash. When I heard the sound of the plane falling, I looked out my window at home and saw the moment it crashed, the way it fell. I ran out of the house and went to see where it had fallen and saw it had fallen into the house of a couple of elderly people. We also knew them from church and so, terrified and not knowing what to do, I jumped over the wall. The European-made ATR-72-500, a twin-engine turboprop plane, was built in 2010. It was headed to Sao Paulo's international airport when it crashed. Brazil's president called for a minute of silence at a naval event Friday after learning about the deadly incident. I have to be the bearer of some very bad news. I would like everyone to stand for a minute of silence because a plane has just crashed in the city of Enjido in Sao Paulo. There were 58 passengers and four crew members, and it seems all of them died. I would like to ask for a minute of silence for the victims. Brazil's president also called for three days of mourning as the investigation into this crash continues. Christina Coleman, Fox News.